Business is always talking about how well they're doing. I mean, why wouldn't you? But I wanted my vlog to cover all the highs and lows and all that's in between. Because running a business isn't easy. And we know that we're far from perfect. And so one of the problems that we're going through right now at Shopo is the level of customer service that we're able to provide. Basically, we had a few problems, a few mini crises, which has now snowballed into a much bigger problem. So, for example, over the sale period, we didn't resource adequately enough in terms of staffing. We had um, a few, we had a glitch with our coupon code during the Easter sale period. And we had some issues with our warehouse in terms of getting orders out on time and with processing returns. So none of this we're proud of. And as a business owner, I am super embarrassed about all of this. And so when things like this happen, we try and be proactive and we email all of our customers to let them know. But then of course, this or our email volumes double. And then more issues hit. Our website went down briefly, but, but it did. And then our sales volumes, um, because they kept growing, our incoming ticket volumes grew as well. I mean, that's not a bad problem to have with sales, but still. And then we also had delays with our shipping. So our email volumes just kept growing and growing. So our customer happiness team were working their butts off, but until the core problems could be resolved, the emails just kept coming in. And we usually like to respond to emails within the hour, but because there were so many emails, it was taking up to days. And then we had to switch off live chat so that we could focus on the emails. And then because we were taking so long to get to those emails, we were getting emails about where are the emails and then more emails about where are the live chat. And then our customers got on social media. I mean, I get it. I would too. I mean, when we've got posts like, how cute is this puppy going on our Instagram? Whilst our customers are wondering, where's my order? Why haven't you gotten back to me? I can understand how frustrating that is. I mean, here's one, for example. Hi, this is getting absolutely ridiculous and appalling to how no one has bothered replying to my previous email. This is the third time I've emailed, I've posted on Insta and I've called with no response. Do you just ignore your customers? Have you received my return item? This is absolutely inconvenient. I'm unprofessional. Reading this is so embarrassing, disheartening, and I just, I can't believe that it has even come to this. This is the biggest rut that Shopo has been in in a long time. But I think what's really important is how we learn from this and what we do in times of trouble, in times of despair. It's important how we position ourselves and how we work to overcome it. So why am I telling you all this? Well, one, I want to tell all the customers that this has affected how truly, truly sorry I am and how sorry my whole team is. We haven't taken this issue lightly and we will never be in this situation again, I promise. And two, I want to tell all the businesses out there, especially the small business owners, that like this does happen and so often when it rains, it pours. But it's really all about how you get yourself out of this situation that makes you bigger and better as a company and as a business owner. And here's some of the things we did. It was all hands on deck. So everyone in the team, literally everyone, regardless of their title and their role, got trained up in customer service and started answering to customer emails. So if you got a bit of a funny email, then it's probably Jimmy, who's a developer, answering a question about the dress, or old mate Kel here, <laughs> answering a question about Australia Post. We postponed important meetings like our quarterly board meeting or our team meet. Our customer service team continued to work around the clock and work their butts off and they were pulling in overtime. So they need you. She was up until 2 a.m. some nights, answering all our tickets, going the extra everyone, mile. Everyone was literally pulling their weight um, and we got in heaps of casuals as well. You know, sometimes crisis mode makes you have to innovate and better yourself. So we have some amazing new technology launching to improve our tracking system. So remember that customer that complained earlier? Well, despite how poorly we initially handled that situation, we managed to rectify it and turn the whole situation around. So here's the message from her. Thank you for your help. I'm really sorry for lashing out. I was just panicking. I appreciate the way you dealt with this now and that I've heard back from you. I always love Shopo and just wanted to say sorry for posting those comments. Thanks again. That's really That's nice. nice. So to our customers, we promise to do better. And to my fellow business owners, I hope that sharing the story with you will help you to when you're going through a similar tough time.